Hi everybody, I want to show you really quickly how to make a Pecha Kucha on a PC using PowerPoint 2016. So we're going to open up PowerPoint first of all and we'll just pick any old template that you want to use. Now with a Pecha Kucha you'll remember that you need 20 slides that last exactly 20 seconds each. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we've got 20 slides. And of course you can put in all sorts of different slide configurations. You can do titles and captions, uh, all sorts of stuff. But right now all I want to do is just add in 20 slides. Once you've got that, then you can go through and start to uh, customize these. This one's going to be my Pecha Kucha. test. All right. and the first thing we want to do, of course, as always, is save it. So we will save it to the desktop in my case. Now to get the slideshow to last 20 seconds each, what we're going to do is go to the slideshow tab. Oh, excuse me, transitions tab first, because that's where the timing will be. You can pick a transition between uh, slides that you can uh, use in all of them. I'm just going to use cover. And so this first one is going to do that transition. You can do different transitions on each slide or you can do the same transition on all the slides. What I'm going to do next then is to get it to advance the slide every 20 seconds. I'm going to click off on mouse click and instead click after and then the middle number is where seconds are, so we're going to do 20 seconds. Now, right now, this is the only slide that will last for 20 seconds and have this cover. You can see that if we click on the next slide in line, it has no transition and it has no advanced slide. So instead of having to do that individually, now you can do it individually, but it's much easier if you just click this button here, apply to all, and that will take all the settings for this slide and put it on all the other sides. So now if we go down to slide number three, you can see it's got a cover transition and it's a 20 second slide. So that's a nice way to sort of cut through some of the work. Now it's time to go to slideshow and what we're going to want to do is make sure that we can have the, the narrations and the timings. So when we do record slideshow, which is going to uh, start the slideshow just like any normal slideshow, but it's going to start recording audio through your microphone. Uh, but we uh, want to make sure that the settings are used correctly. So what we'll do is when we do record slideshow, we'll say record from beginning and it's got a little warning box that comes up here in the middle. Now the very important thing that you have to remember is to click off the slide and animation timings button because what it's going to want to do if you do that is change the time from 20 seconds to whatever it is uh, or however long it takes you to go through the slide. So we want the timing that we put in uh, in that transitions panel to override the timings here but make sure that we do have this one checked because we want to make sure the narration is getting uh, recorded on here. And if you want to, you can use uh, ink and laser pointer. So we'll hit start recording. You can see that the Pecha Kucha screen will come up. Up in the top corner, you'll see that it is recording and has a little timer. You can pause it in the middle if you want to. Uh, going on to the next slide though, uh, is going to leave a blank space after, so you don't necessarily want to do that. But you'll see now that it hits 20 seconds, it should go on to the next slide. Well, I'll manually push that over and see if it does it for the next slide. And rather than you having to wait for me to narrate through the whole list. I'll just click through until the end, but you'll have 20 seconds for each of these and hopefully you'll have a 20 seconds worth of script to go through. And when you're done, 
it'll stop automatically and you'll see that the audio icon has been added to the slides that have audio narration and since we had audio going all of them should have that little audio narration icon over in the corner now you want that so uh, that that means that it did record the actual audio uh, we're going to save it again make sure you're always saving it and then what we will do is do save as because we want to turn this into a movie and we'll click where we want it to go now you've already got it as a PowerPoint presentation so we want to change it to a different type this time we want to do a movie and it will take all of that narration and all of the slides and make them into a movie and you can do it in lots of different formats but the best one for uh, sort of cross platform usage uh, so for Macs and mobile devices uh, web all that kind of stuff is going to be MPEG-4 video so out of the list uh, just pick MPEG-4 video and pick where you want it to go click Save and then you'll see down here at the bottom there's a little uh, sort of temperature gauge to show how long it's been processing this takes usually oh five six minutes something like that depending on how complex the things are that you've got on it uh, but I won't make you wait I'll uh, pause the recording here and wait till it finishes and then talk to you in a second okay so this is just about done you can see that the bar has gone as far as it can and now it's gone away so that's good we'll save this one more time make sure you do uh, then what we're going to want to do is now that we've got just the video let's take a look at it and you can see that the video has gone there let's move it to the desktop uh, and we'll say open with and I'm gonna pick Windows Media Player you can do it in whatever you want to you can see that the Pecha Kucha screen will come up up in the top corner you'll see and you can hear it doing the narration that I did just timer. before you can pause it in the middle if you want to uh, going on to the next slide though uh, is going to leave a blank space after so you don't necessarily yeah so you can see what happened there is uh, because of the settings that we had before it clips off the last couple of seconds of what I was saying uh, because it's going to automatically go for 20 seconds regardless of the timings that you've got. And the way you can also test that is if you scrub through and you get to the end and it's seven minutes long, then you know that it's, uh, it should be the, the timing is 20 minutes like it's supposed to be. So once you've got that done, you can upload it to Blackboard or upload it, upload it to the web or whatever you like to do. But that's how you can get a Pecha Kucha uh, into video on a PC using PowerPoint.